your health coaching, please. Yes, yes, yes. And again, and I know we talked about barefoot walking, we talked about sun gazing. And again, I'm gonna preface the fact that we don't just deal with one facet of health here. We don't really hit people with food. We, we, we plug people back into what they are and that's pure energy. So we plug someone back in by using the fresh air here, by using the sunshine here, um, the food here, um, working on people's thoughts here, mm. and really cleansing the system. Um, Quite delicious. Generally, toxemia, yeah. the focus and the philosophy that we have here is toxemia comes from one thing, mm -hmm. and that's a toxic load. Mm -hmm. That's toxic air that you've been breathing. Yep. That's toxic food that you've been eating. That's inadequate sunshine that you've been getting. Um, inadequate sleep, burning the candle at both ends. All these things contribute over time, right? It's kind of like a car. You know, mm -hmm. you don't put good oil in it. It just kind of, you just, the car just sort of chips away and it doesn't last as long as a guy is someone who takes care of the car, changes the oil all the time, takes care of the car. Mm -hmm. The human body over time is going to chip away. And for one person that could be cancer. It manifests as cancer. Yeah. For another person it could be diabetes. Mm -hmm. For another person it could be, uh, you name it, whatever. For me it was fibromyalgia chronic fatigue syndrome. Mm. You know, I burned the candle at both ends. You know, partied a lot. Did a lot of drugs, did things I wasn't supposed to be doing, improper thoughts, and sure enough, my body dropped out from underneath me. Mm. Some people, there's a genetic proponent to this, some people can go on to be 95 years old and probably mm. and, and abuse their body and be fine. But other people, that's not the case. Mm. Their bodies build up a high toxic load and something happens. An energetic shift happens and their body becomes chronic fatigued or fibromyalgia or Lyme disease or lupus. But our philosophy is that all disease comes from the same thing. So if you plug them back into energy, but they are an energetic core, because that's what all human beings are, is really we're at the energy of, of light and love, um, and we're just nothing but real electromagnetic batteries. So if you plug someone back into that, they're gonna have detox symptoms, but they're gonna get better. Now, how do we do that here, the specifics? Well, first of all is adequate sleep and rest. One of the great things about Costa Rica is mm -hmm. that there's not daylight savings times. Daylight savings times was created by human beings um, for echo reasons, for a lot of uh, economical reasons, but it is horrible on the circadian rhythms of the human brain. Mm. Absolutely horrible when the sun goes down at nine o'clock at night and stuff like that. It is not, not smart. It really kind of messes people up. As human beings, we are always meant to be sun beings before the invention of the light bulb and things of that nature, we, as human beings, we woke up with the sun and we went to bed when the sun went down. And it's something that we don't do anymore. We party into the wee hours. Now, they've done scientific studies on this. You can actually look all this stuff up online. When the human body goes to sleep before midnight, you actually will get a deep stage four level sleep. That's a delta wave. Now, the studies have shown that a delta wave sleep will repair the body much quicker than a rapid eye movement sleep. Mm. A rapid eye movement's a very essential part of sleep, but it happens after the midnight hours. It's when you remember your dreams, right? So you wake up and you remember a lot of things mm. about your dreams. But a lot of times you wake up and you're not, you don't feel very well rested. Well, that is because you're getting sleep later into yeah. the evening. 12 o'clock, one in the morning, two in the morning. After a while, your body starts to chip away. When you sleep is when your body repairs itself. It's one, of, it's one of the main ways for the body to repair itself. Here, we don't have daylight savings hours, so everybody gets up early here. It's impossible here in Costa Rica at the Farm of Life. It's really impossible not to wake up early here. Yeah. When the sun rises, you've got monkeys going crazy, <laughs> you've got toucans going off, you've got every animal, you name it, is going crazy. Mm. And so you get up. And we offer the morning meditation, which is the sun gazing or sun bathing. So, you know, these things get you up early. And, and then, because you've been up all day long, you go to bed early. Mm. And part of the healing protocol here when people are to heal is that they're to, to be in bed no later than 9 o'clock. Yeah. So that they're getting anywhere between 3 to 4 to 5 hours 
of really strong delta wave sleep. Mm. And the more delta wave sleep you get, the more you regenerate, the more you recover, and that's the whole point of you being here. Mm -hmm. And without the daylight savings, it's really easy. Generally, within 48 hours, people get adjusted here. If they're coming from the States or other parts where they have daylight savings, within 48 hours, they start to get adjusted to the early morning rise and the early evening bed, and then it really suits them great. Yeah. They, they wake up refreshed and ready to go. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is raw food. Basically, the reason why raw food works, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, is because it's been made by the four pranas, air, water, earth, and sun, which is really what we've been made by too. Mm. So, and it's been made by the sun. So it's all raw food is at the frequency of light. And, and it would make sense if you, to put into your body that which is what you are. Mm. If you're at a frequency of light, and you're putting in raw food, which is light, then naturally the vibrations are the same, so you're, you're gonna detox and you're gonna get well. Now, for some people, it, it takes longer than others, um, depending upon their toxic load, mm. but raw food works. Now, when someone's here on a healing protocol, I typically do not recommend any overt fats for at least one month. That means mm. no avocados, no nuts, no seeds. Why? A high fat diet is a high fat diet. Granted, avocados, nuts, and seeds are really good fats. In some cases, olive oils, different things of that nature. But when someone has a toxic load, toxins are stored in fat cells. That's the first place they get, they get, mm. they get tucked away in. So if you're on a high fat diet, whether it's McDonald's or raw food, you're not gonna get rid of the fat, which means you're not gonna get rid of the toxic load. And if you never get rid of the toxic load, you never detox, you're not gonna heal. Mm. So when people come here, you put them on an absolutely zero fat, high fruit, greens diet. So if someone were to come here, typically their first two weeks would be four to six meals a day, small, spread out every two to three hours. The first meal being a nice 10 to 16 ounce green juice, making the juice look green you just sweeten it up maybe with one apple or one carrot or an orange or a lemon, but just to sweeten it up to so make the green juice palatable. Or if it's palatable for you, then you just have the green juice. And then every two to three hours, you have a fruit meal, a small fruit meal, mono meals, because when you mono meal, it's gonna enhance digestion, mm -hmm. eating one food at a time. We're the only animal that mixes and matches and, and smorgasbords everything mm -hmm. into our stomachs. Mm -hmm. Our digestive system does not work that way one thing at a time works best. So you're doing green juices, fruit meals, green juice, fruit meal, and then a nice, very simple salad for the dinner meal. Um, that's basically the raw food diet here for the first two weeks. If someone, let's say someone were to be here for one month, mm -hmm. the diet would be that. Um, and then the third week would be a water fast. We'll talk about water fast in a little bit. Um, but the preface behind raw food is simply the reason why it works is because it has a similar vibration to what you are and it's, it's been made by light and because of that it cleanses and detoxifies your body and eventually over time the body just heals it gets well and you know not only have i read all the books regarding that and people have come here and, and really received a lot of healings as well as met lots and lots of people in the states that once they've changed their lifestyle to one of raw foods they've cleansed their body and they've completely healed. Um, mm. The third thing, pure air. Mm. Pure air is, uh, it's pretty not, it's pretty hard not to get pure air here mm. at Farm Alive. Um, it's, we're 2,000 feet up into the mountains and it's, it's really, really a perfect place. Um, one thing I would suggest though is that people meditate when they're here, meaning the fewer breaths that you take, the more you can use air for food because that's one of the pranas right that requires no digestion to produce energy whereas raw food it produce it, it takes digestion it takes energy to produce energy whereas air if you breathe deeply less than four beats a minute you actually activate they've done studies on this you activate mm. the pituitary gland and the pineal gland in the body wow. less than four breaths a minute 
That's a deep breath. So here we teach a, a you know sort of a Kriya breath or a Cobra breath, which is really deep belly breathing, slowly up through the chakras, slowly stopping at the top, and then slowly exhaling. And the better and better you get at this, man, you can get down to less than one breath a minute. Wow. And once you get to that point, I mean, it, you really, you start to feel that you can use air for energy. You can completely recharge the cells of your body. Because remember, air has been charged by the sun. It's, 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 a, it's, an, it's a prana, it's a form of life force energy. And if you use meditation for energy, you don't need as much raw food. Mm. So that pure air here at the Pharma Life really helps. And that meditation technique really helps as another alternative form of energy. Vitalized water. All our water here is, is, is from a spring source right down the street, right down the gravel road. We pump it up to the top and then we gravity feed down to our structures. All the water here is highly structured. Now, a lot of people say, well, when I go back to whatever country it is, yeah, sure, it's beautiful here, but what can I do about vitalized water? Well, if you remember this website, structuredwaterunit.com, this will really help you because um, the most important thing with water, a lot of people get ionizers and dehydrate, mm -hmm. and, you know, and all these different things um, with water. And I really feel the most important thing with water is to restructure it. Because when water hits metal pipe, it loses its structure. So if you can get a gadget that vortexes and spins the water again and get its, gets its life force energy going again, then it's going to enhance energy. Um, and we have those structured water units here on the farm. But I can say when I was living in Atlanta and I started using these structured water units, um, I got the shower unit. And the shower unit was amazing because it, like, overnight, my, the scalp, because I shaved my head, overnight my, my head started to feel better. My skin wasn't as dry. Um, and so we got the shower unit. That's the, cheaper, the cheapest unit. But you can actually use it for drinking water. You can just put a glass underneath it and then you can just drink it all day out of it. Mm. And then take showers with it. Because people, people forget that when you take a shower, I mean, the skin's the biggest organ in your body. So you're actually taking more water in via a shower than you are drinking water. Mm. So one of the most important things to do is make sure that your shower water is filtered. And people overlook that completely. Yeah. So to have a properly filtered shower unit is very important. And the structured water unit, I would say, is, is all you'd need. Because it's about the restructuring of water. Not, in a sense, taking the chemicals out. Um, and that, that will really, I mean, if, if you, if people try this, they'll really see that it's actually a very effective Amazing. unit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, adequate sunshine. And I know we've really touched upon this a lot with sun gazing, but if people don't resonate with sun gazing, they, they should sunbathe. The mm. science is all there for sunbathing. And we recommend 20 to 30 minutes front half of your body, 20 to 30 minutes back half of your body a day. And that, you know, the body can take in all those visible and invisible rays of light, the whole rainbow spectrum of light, to heal the body. Um, and here there's plenty of sun in the morning. Um, so people get up and, and, you know, naked sunbathing in a very mm -hmm. private areas on the farm, you know, is really, really healing for the body. Especially before a colonic. You do some sunbathing before a colonic, it really releases a lot of the debris that's stuck in the colon. Um, during a protocol, generally we have people do that. Um, they'll either sun gaze or sun bathe, and then they'll go straight into a colonic session. And the releases are ju definitely much better. Um, the sun will never, ever, ever be the culprit of skin cancer. That's just not possible. The sun is, a, is, is the beneficiary and is the cause of all life on this planet. And... There's no possible way that the sun...